Welcome back everyone. We're at the corner of Main Street as well as Clark. I'm joined by Joey Paskey, who is our deputy director for the Department of Public Works. As we know, the past few weeks have been really riddled with tragic stories of horrific car accidents that have taken so many lives throughout the valley. And we wanted to know from you, when there is an accident inside an intersection within the city limits, what's done? Are there steps that you all take to look at the engineering and the lights and timing, things like that? Absolutely. Um, so when a fatal crash occurs within the city of Las Vegas, we receive a notification from the Metro's Traffic Bureau that that has occurred. It is truly the absolute worst part of my job. Um, once we receive that notification, we actually send our engineering team out to go make observations and make sure that everything is in working order. Are the signs visible? Are they in the right places? Same thing with the pavement markings. Uh, we look at the traffic signal systems and we make sure that the push buttons are operating correctly and that all of the indications, which are the lights, can be seen as they're intended to be seen. And if there are any recommendations for improvements, then we send those to our field operations team who gets them addressed. In addition, our field operations team performs preventative maintenance annually on all 632 of our traffic signal systems and making sure that anything that needs to be repaired gets addressed. They look for, again, the, do the push buttons work? Does the controller, which is the brains of the traffic signal system, work as intended? And really make sure that things are in tip-top shape. So it's great that you guys go out after there's an intersection problem or when you hear complaints. What about in the city of Las Vegas? We do deal with a lot of construction right now. How do you guys monitor that and make sure that those zones are safe for drivers? Um, so we have a team that reviews all of the temporary traffic control plans that come in through the city. Last year, they reviewed over 11,000 plans. So they are checking to make sure that all of the federal, state, and local regulations are being followed, which is really an attempt to ensure safety, not just for the workers themselves, but also for anybody using the streets. Are you guys allowed to say how the lights work? Is it a timing thing? Is it a, how does it work? It's, it's kind of all of the above, yes. Some of them are timed, some of them are pre-timed and already set. Um, what we really do is an engineering study when they get installed and we look at how many cars are making each one of the movements, how many are going through, how many are going left, and how many pedestrians are walking through and trying to make sure that we have adequate time to encompass all of those movements, but also not degrade the service of maybe the next one downstream. So a lot of times the whole corridor will be coordinated, but we also work with RTC FAST who manages and maintains the traffic operations system. We work hand in hand with them to ensure that we are in lockstep and making sure that everybody knows who's doing what with the traffic signal timings. Well, obviously it's a challenge to keep up with all of the major intersections, the major roads, but what about in each community? A lot of residents know, hey, this traffic lights out or people go really fast around this corner. I would like to see some sort of speed bump here. What do they do if that's something they want? So we heavily encourage people to let us know if they have a safety concern, a speeding concern or things like that. We performed over 400 studies from our engineering teams just last year that looked at, at these things in people's neighborhoods. Um, we collect data, we collect volumes, speeds, crash data, and we use all of that to determine, you know, what kind of where, what kind of recommendations can we make? What kind of things can we implement that might help this issue? So it's not as simple as I want a traffic signal here no. and I'm going to call the city and they're going to put one in. A lot more goes behind it. A lot more goes behind it, especially for a traffic signal system. So an engineering study is required prior to the installation of a traffic signal system. And we are governed by federal guidelines by the Federal Highway Administration as to when those can be installed, there needs to meet a certain set of parameters. What we do is keep an intersection safety master plan, which keeps statistics about all of our unsignalized intersections so that we can keep tabs on if and when a traffic signal might be warranted, at which time then we can move it into design and eventually construction. How does that differ from a stop sign or a speed bump? Uh, stop sign is done very much the same way. It is also governed by uh, Federal Highway Administration. Now a speed bump is more governed by the city's neighborhood traffic management program. So that's things that specifically go on in people's neighborhoods. And we have criteria and policies set as well as a whole host of tools that we use to calm traffic in their neighborhoods. Let's talk about the future of Southern Nevada and what it means for us to maintain those zero fatalities or to achieve zero fatalities. 
we have something called Vision Zero. Can you explain what that is and how we move forward with Correct. it? Correct. So the city has recently embarked on developing an action plan for Vision Zero. Vision Zero is a strategy to eliminate traffic fatalities and serious injuries and increase the equity, health, and mobility for all system users. So pretty lofty goal. 2050 is our target year on that, and it really is going to take a multidisciplinary effort to get this off the ground. Our advisory committee right now consists of multiple city departments, our peer and partner agencies, as well as a number of community groups really to come together. Uh, we can't engineer out of this alone. Police can't enforce out of this alone. And we, we really need to d discuss the things that are working and come up with solutions. Any specific challenges you guys are facing as a community right now with growth and traffic? We are always facing speeding challenges. Um, we're also facing driver distraction and intoxication. Last year there were 37 fatalities on city roadways, 30 of which had drivers that were under the influence. So we really need motorists to slow down, travel at speeds that are within the speed limit, and and try to be as engaged in their trip as possible so that we can protect all of the users on the road. And you have a guarantee from the city that you're doing everything you can to try to make sure everything's up to date and working the way it should be. Absolutely. Okay, well thank you so much and good luck to you guys. Thank you.